Today, I'm going to introduce you to the concept of linear modeling. So linear modeling is a practice where we apply real life situations onto um, the Cartesian plane. So we can use graphs and rules to be able to solve uh, practical problems, basically. Um, so to be able to solve these problems, we first need to develop a rule that links the two variables that we're working with. Then we need to sketch a graph. And then once we've got a rule and a graph, we can use those to be able to estimate the, uh, ver the value of one variable um, when we're given another. We can also use our linear model to be able to find what's called the rate of change of one variable with respect to the other. So basically the rate of change is the gradient in a practical situation. So linear modeling examples will usually have um, multiple parts to them where you need to develop a rule, make a graph, and then solve problems either using the rule or the graph. So looking at our example here that we have today, um, we've got a deal offered by NetShare, an internet provider is a fixed charge of $20 per month plus $5 for every hour of use. So we want to write a rule for the total monthly cost being C of using NetShare for T hours per month. Okay, so quite often you use T for time, C for cost, etc. Um, so that's going to look like our cost is equal to 20 plus 5 multiplied by um, our time. So it's, it's a fixed cost of 20, so that's our constant, plus $5 for every hour. Um, so writing that in gradient intercept form, that would look like C is equal to 5T plus 20. So then for the next part of our uh, problem, we need to sketch the graph of C versus T using values of T between 0 and 10 inclusive. So we know from our rule already that the C intercept is 20. So what that means is that when the time is 0, so no month, no um, hours have been used of the internet, it's going to cost you $20 anyway. And then because we've been given an upper T limit for this graph, um, we'll use, we'll sub that in to our rule to be able to find the other endpoint. So at T equals 10, C is going to be equal to 20 plus 5 times 10, which gives us a cost of $70. So our endpoint um, lies at 1070. So then we can simply join up our y-intercept and 1070 and there's our graph. So then our next problem, we're being asked, what's the total cost in a month when net share is used for four hours? Okay, so look, we can either use the graph or the rule to answer this problem, but having a look at the graph, it's really straightforward. You look when T is equal to four, C is equal to 40. So you can even just say to answer that question from the graph, um, the cost is going to be $40. And then quite often you'll be asked another question where you need to sub in the other variable or, or find the other variable given um, given the first one. So um, this example is if the monthly cost was $50, for how many hours was NetShare used during the month? Now, again, you can look at the graph to find this, but I do want to show you how to use um, the rule to be able to find the variable. So you write out your rule, C is equal to 20 plus 5T. You sub in what you're given. So you're told that C is equal to 50. So instead of C, we've got 50 is equal to 20 plus 5T. And then you just use your algebra skills to solve that. So we're going to subtract 20 um, from both sides, which gives us 5T is equal to 30. And of course, T um, is equal to 6 after you divide by 5. So 6 hours would be your answer there.